a lot of times teachers use um, Google Forms to collect data about their students. Um, so I've created a Google Form and started to collect some, this is just garbage data, but it's kind of like the data that a teacher would collect. Um, you'll notice that the data comes in with the student's name right in here, um, and then subject and all that kind of stuff. And, and teachers want to be able to separate the data um, for each of their kids so that it's all not together. Um, so one of the things that I'm going to show you is an, an add-on to a spreadsheet. So you can go into your add-ons, and if you just scroll down to the bottom, there's an add-on called Row Call. If you add Row Call to your spreadsheets, and I'll go ahead and do that real quick. You have to accept it and let it be part of of your spreadsheet. And then row call is now in here. So I'm going to go and take my spreadsheet and I'm going to go to add-ons and to row call and I'm going to tell it to start. When I start row call, it's going to say what column do you want to use? I'm going to separate my data based on the student name, so I'm going to use the column name. But I could use any other type of sorting data that I wanted to. My source is that form responses and it has column headers. So I'm going to check the box and I'm going to say sort or update. Then what it's going to do is it's going to create a tab down at the bottom for each one of the kids that's listed in my spreadsheet. So then now I could go back. Here's my original data. Here's my Mike data. Here's my Beth data. And so each student would then have their own tab. I might find this to be very, very helpful in a classroom where I want to separate and look at each student independently. That is called the row call add-on for Google Sheets.